Hey guys, my name is Fiona Solis. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Yannick. Uh, I'm 29 years old, I'm from Canada. I currently live in China and I'm traveling in Thailand right now. But now we just arrived, we came to uh, the park called yeah. uh, Bangkok. Yeah, so how was your experience yeah. there? That, that was really cool, yeah, I really like it. It reminded me of um, Central Park, but I would say it's more peaceful mm. and more exotic as well because you have palm trees and... True. Yeah, well maybe on the west coast, but they're gonna be like really short True. and... Not as yeah, and then also like ah, oh, we seen this like uh, com I think it's Komodo dragon. I think it's a, like it's a big left side. So yeah, was, that was really cool. That was my first time seeing that. Yeah, it's fun. Like it's really big. First, like we seen a lot like one like little, but that one is really like a pretty long. big one. Yeah, oh. it was like at least like three feet long. Yeah, it's really really yeah. big, but it's like friendly. You know, they, yeah, they no, we so cool. because we were really close yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. So how was how did you know about culture thing and how was your first experience? Um, I started. Uh, I learned about couch surfing many years ago, like around 2012 or something like that. Uh, someone told me about that website and I applied, but I didn't really use it for a while okay. because I was not traveling. So oh, I wanted sure, to meet sure. people, but when you don't travel, it's not as useful. Um, when I first traveled to China three years ago. Um, I use couch surfing to meet people. I've been to meetings and I met a lot of people there. Um, but this time is actually my first time using couch surfing for its real meaning in the real way. And like being, and thank you very much. Oh, you're way. welcome. How made you decide to travel? Um, it started when I was younger. I think when I was like 17 years old, I've always wow. thought I, I was not traveling back mm. then, but I was dreaming of traveling. Mm -hmm. And um, I had this thought that I needed to see the world. I didn't like to just work uh, from Monday to Friday and oh, that's awesome. yeah, exactly. So I had this thought that I wanted to travel, but I, it was I, I was blocking myself to doing it. I, I, I don't think I was scared, but I was telling myself, oh, I will do it eventually, eventually, mm -hmm. eventually. And then. Uh, three years ago, when I first uh, went to China, I decided, okay, now I'm doing the move. There will never be a perfect moment to do it. If you, if I wait for the perfect moment, I'm going to be 50 years old and I was, wouldn't sure, have traveled. Sure. What's your best and unforgettable travel experience, and like generally? Um, that would still be China, definitely, China, because so. uh, I've stayed there for so long, friends. got a lot of friends, and my wife. Hello, you're probably watching. Hi, hi. From me, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just so many memories, so many good experiences mm -hmm. that um, it's actually hard to find one single thing about that trip. But uh, definitely, uh, that changed my life from mm -hmm. A to Z. Sure. That's nice. So, are you fluent of uh, uh, Chinese? You can speak Chinese. I can speak Chinese. Yeah. Um, some people would say I can speak it fluently. I personally think that I still need to practice and improve. Yeah. So um so when you travel, uh what is your like least favorite, like unforgettable, like bad I've been close to be scammed, but that didn't happen. I was lucky. Um when I travel I don't really have bad experiences, but I think I have uh bad luck with my flights. <laughs> Every time I take the plane there is always something that goes wrong. Um, Delay or not too bad, but I remember the first time I took the plane, I think that was the worst time ever. Um, I took a plane, it was from Montreal, no, from Calgary to Montreal, Canada, and we just uh, took off, maybe like 10 minutes after we took off. Um, there is a message from, um, I think it was the captain, it was saying, oh, we have some mechanical problems. You should. Yeah. It's like so, scared from people. Yeah, especially mechanical mm -hmm. problems, you're telling yourself, well, what could it be like? Is mm, it dangerous? Correct, correct. And then um, we didn't know what happened. He was like, "We're gonna let you know what's up." Blah blah blah. So we were waiting, and then at some point, the electricity, like all the lights, turned off, and the AC turned off as well in the plane. So it was Scary. yeah, it was really dark, and it became really hot really quickly. Like everybody was sweating. So um, the air tennis like um, asked us to close the windows and try to like not move too much because it was getting way too hot. Mm -hmm. And yeah, because of the, when the higher temperature, like, the, the, like it comes really, especially like, it's, it's a small, like, yeah, it's a small area, really small, yeah, even if it's really cold outside, like inside the plane, it's really hot. And uh, 
after that, like it took a while and we were scared they're like, uh, well, not necessarily scared. People were panic or like just like? A little bit. Some people were panicking, yeah, because it was keep, re keep uh, repeating that it had mechanical problems and they were trying to fix Huge. it. They didn't know how to fix it. So mm -hmm. that was, yeah, kind of scary at the same time, especially when it's your first time taking the plane. Like, that, that's your that was my first time. Shit. Yeah. That's but of course, glad that not happened after that. Uh, they, I don't know, they found the problem and they fixed it. We had uh, some turbulences, and then after the turbulences, it was all right. Something came oh, back. That's nice. That's yeah. Really, really cool. What traveling means to you? Uh, I say learning. Learning. Yeah, learning. I think so. Yeah, I'm learning a lot when I travel. You learn from people or from your just seeing, you know, from seeing. Yeah, yeah but I, I think that it's mainly from people. Many from people actually. Yeah. yeah, because like for me, like you're very friendly and you talk. Like rem I remember the talk to drivers and today I went to the <laughs> yeah. went to the park. He said to Pablo, the German guy. Yes. So he do talk, yeah. and he said he told me like I talk, but he told him you talk talk talk. Yeah. Talk, talk, because you're friendly and like you easy to get along with people. So yeah, I think so. so that's really really. Uh, uh, it's like it's a gap. Yeah. Some people are shy, some people are not. So different. I think in different situations. Well. Yeah, I can be shy as well. I think sometimes, depending where I am and things like that. But yeah, I do believe that uh, we could learn something from anyone. Correct. Everybody has something to teach us. If you're given a chance mm -hmm. to fly, so which country you're gonna fly and why? I think I would choose Japan. Japan. Yeah. So why Japan? That's interesting. Yeah, um, I'm a little bit of a geek, I think. Oh, wow. And um, I really like uh, video games. And um, nice. I'm not a big fan of mangas. I haven't watched a lot of mangas. But when I was young, I was really a big fan of Dragon Ball. Oh, me too. Yeah. And it's popular. Like yeah, Dragon it's really Ball. popular. Yeah, and Death Note. Yeah. The thing is that... Um, I like Sailor Moon. <laughs> <laughs> so I've never watched that, but it was on TV when I was young. I remember yeah, it's like popular, too, especially French. the girl. Yeah, true. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah, Dragon Ball is one popular. I don't know if you know about Ghost Fighter. No, I don't know that uh, one. It's really, really one of the popular. Also, Power Ranger. Power. Oh, <laughs> that reminds me. Oh, a lot yeah, of memories. Yeah, Ranger. I was I was watching Power Rangers when I was a kid. Yeah, that's true. Like it's one popular. Dragon Ball is Power Ranger. It's popular in the Philippines. That's awesome. Yeah. So why? Uh, yeah, Japan. 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 The, like for the, the, the electronics, the technology. I know that like I've heard that um, Korea is more technology than Japan now. But there's still something in Japan that, that you want to go see. there that I want to see. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. So yeah. what was your uh, plan this trip? Um, I would say having fun, mm -hmm. principally. Yeah, because I'm working and I have that holiday. Mm -hmm. I wanted to put everything behind me for a while and just like. And keep my mind and travel, have yeah. fun. Yeah. Because when you go back, you have to work again. Again, you know, exactly. So go back to the routine. Your mind and yeah. In this trip, what are you gonna do? Um, plan? I wanna see some probably historical places, mm -hmm. uh, many temples, mm -hmm. um, and obviously since I wanna have fun, I um, wanna party. True, true. Of course, it's part of it. You yeah. know, like <laughs> when you go back home, when you go back to to work, and then you know, think you of have work, time. and a lot to, you know, yeah. a lot of lesson plan to do. Yeah. And, you know. You teach kids or? Yeah, I teach kids, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you'll be a really good father. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Thank because you, you have already have a lot of kids. And yeah, and you know, I'm getting experience as well. Yeah, and yeah it's really fun. Mm -hmm. So one last thing. Mm -hmm. Advice to people who want to travel, like you overcome sometimes a fear of our, like wanted to see photos from others and we wish to go there and people here and now glad you yeah. Out of your comfort zone and you traveled and successfully. That, that's awesome. Yeah, amazing. And people who are sitting there and listening to us. And thank you so much for watching. But please enter that advice and tips. Yeah, that that would be uh, my advice to you. That would be uh, try to live your dream, even if it seems impossible, even if it seems complicated and or like close to impossible. You have to. Uh, fight for it and make sure you're gonna do it because you only have one chance to live your dreams and you don't want to go um, you don't you don't want to be like on your deathbed and regret that you didn't do it um, you gotta do it you might fail several times it might not be perfect like it was for me but um, you will fight for it and eventually it will happen and 
you won't regret it, that's for sure. You're going to learn a lot from it. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks to you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, guys, please, if you really like this video, watch more and learn Definitely more. Definitely watch more. True. And please subscribe if you want more updates. And thank you, thank you so much for watching. So always remember the world is our house, countries are living rooms, lakes, seas, and oceans are swimming pools. So travel safe and thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you.